This is the River Hawk Report, a weekend wrap up for Monday, November 30th, 2009. Basketball, men and women, and hockey all in action during the Thanksgiving weekend, and not a lot to give thanks for. There was more disappointment than happiness. Only one of the three teams was a winner. We'll chronicle the disappointment first. Let's start on the ice. The UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks suddenly struggling. The third ranked team in the country has now dropped two in a row. Friday night at the Saugus Arena, they were beaten by the Black Mayors of the University of Maine. 3 1 was the final, and the score may have been closer than the game itself. They deserve the win, and we absolutely got what we deserve. Fans head coach Blaze McDonald, who's not happy. Simply put, the Riverhawks did not play their game, did not play Lowell hockey, did not play well. This game here was a thorough thumping by Maine against us. You know, they played very well. They played a perfect road game. They, they've got a team of a lot of freshmen and sophomores that just outpoised our juniors and seniors by a wide margin. Quite frankly, we were we were even lucky to be in the game at some points through the third period. Although the hockey club did not play well, they did have a lead. one nothing. It came on a Corey Felitti goal early in the second period. It did not last long. Maine scored twice before the period was over and added a third period goal for insurance. Holmes from there spun around. Felitti's got the puck. Felitti behind the net. Felitti tries to put it in front. Loose battle. Holmes through a poke at it. Poke by Felitti. Scores! Corey Felitti with a goal. Tanner sends it around the porch. Nyquist. Tanner's at Tanner House. Turns. Shoots. Scores! And we're tied up the boards. Spencer Abbott kept it in. Abbott. Wrist shot deflected by Shemansky. Score! The final would be 3-1. to one. Whether it was just a blip on the screen or something more significant, only time will tell. But the coach is concerned. Well, I'm concerned a lot about this team in terms of just playing harder, getting after it more, playing with some more poise. At this point, there's just, you know, I mean, if you watch the game, there was a there was a lot of, of our good players that were passengers. The Hockey River Hawks will be busy next weekend. They will visit UNH on Friday night. They will host UMass Amherst at the Sangus Arena on Saturday. UMass Lowell men's basketball suffered their first loss of the year Sunday. They got smacked by Merrimack, 71-56 the final. This was a case of a team that, at least for one game, couldn't shoot straight. They hit only 21 of 75 shots. Not good. It's hard to beat a quality team when, when you don't put the ball in the basket, and tonight was really proves that point. Fans head coach Greg Horenda. Even with the struggle to hit their shots, the Riverhawks hung around. They were only down by four with eight and a half minutes to go, but they never found the shooting target. Merrimack forced us into some, you know, tougher shots and we turned the basketball over, but we missing 22 threes and I don't think we took too many bad threes, but when they don't go in the game, it's it's hard to look it's hard to look anything but anemic on offense and that's what we were offensively. Twenty eight percent and twelve percent. A lot of that goes credit goes to Merrimack and you know we gotta take uh the blame with some of that offense as well. Two River Hogs did climb into double digits. Kingsley on Yankee led the team with 13 points. Craig Heatherly added 11. For UMass Lowell men, it is their first loss of the year. They're four and one, two and one in the Northeast 10 Conference. We just have to take, uh, you know, take the bumps in the road. And this was a, you know, a bump in a road. But we're four and one and two and one in the conference. So we're, we're trying to win every game, but it's it's, it's hard to win every game. And uh, but shooting like that tonight, it just makes it really really difficult. Next up for the River Hawks, they'll visit. Visit Bentley on Wednesday. The bright spot of the Riverhawk Sports Weekend was the women's basketball team, and it was the final six and a half minutes that was the difference. UMass Lowell defeated Merrimack 78 to 66. We didn't defend a rebound. I didn't think the way that we, that's what we have to hang our head on. We know that, and then I thought we did a better job doing that, and that led to, I, I think, a couple easy baskets for us, and, you know, like any sport, once you get a little, little momentum, it helps to keep it going, and that's what we were able to do. Vance hit coach Kathy O'Neill, and the Riverhawks, with momentum, kept it going. UMass Lowell outscored Merrimack 29-8 to over the final 6 minutes and 24 seconds, and that started with a 16-zip run. Riverhawk scoring was led by Shanae Bushner and Bianca Simmons, each threw in 17. But the Riverhawks got contributions from a variety of sources. Bench depth the key. It's nice. You know, it's a, it's a good, good problem to have, I guess, to have. You know, we can go 11 
12 deep. That's that's a nice. That's nice. Among those who came off the bench and came up big was Megan Berry. She's also coming off knee surgery, but that did not stop her. She hit a couple of key baskets during that late run in what was only her second appearance of the year. Even now, she can't really make it through a full practice with her knees. Mm -hmm. She had two um, surgery on both knees in August, oh, okay. so she had a lateral release. So. Really, she's back ahead of schedule. She wasn't supposed to be back until se middle of December, second semester, basically. But I feel pretty good. I'm just starting to get back. This is the most I've played. And I'm a shooter. That alone, you have to have a lot of confidence. And I was not I was paying attention the whole game and was hoping to get in. And I knew if I got a shot, I knew I was going to try and help my team as best as I could. Fortunately, my team got me the ball, and I was able to knock some key shots down. The River Hawks are now 4-1, and 2-1 and one in the Northeast 10 Conference. They will visit Bentley on Wednesday. And that's the River Hawk Report for Monday, November 30th, 2009.